The sustainability revolution uh, is now unfolding in an historic way. The pandemic has freshly reminded people that when uh, the, the leading scientists in the world, in this case, epidemiologists and virologists, give us a very clear and dire warnings that danger is ahead, we should be paying attention to them. Uh, and now that the climate scientists have been warning us for much longer, people are thinking, well, maybe we should pay attention to them too. We have taken a lot of short-term pain as a civilization. You know, multi-month lockdowns, huge economic collapse, uh, because we had an immediate and a common enemy. And so maybe this recognition that we can take some short-term pain for long-term issues, uh, I do think we'll see a lot more social unrest um, around the world. I think what we saw in the US recently was not just about race, it was also about uh, inequity. Um, so I think yes. these issues of equity are going to come to the fore and jobless growth is going to be a big issue. So with a little bit of luck, uh, civil society will be a big driver uh, of the change as well. When people awaken in even larger numbers to the fact that this climate crisis is caused by us using the sky as an open sewer, then they look at the alternatives that are cleaner and cheaper and better in every way. If public sentiment reaches the point where there is a demand for this change, we can accomplish this transition very, very quickly. A colleague of mine often says, one of our tragedies is that Mother Nature's back office has not been set up, so she doesn't know how to issue invoices. So shouldn't we start actually invoicing for some of this stuff? Uh, what would it take to get the world to move from the gap, the general accounting practices, to a different set of notion of value and accounting practices? And could we do something to make that stick?